Hi everyone, welcome. This video is a great starting point to understand AWS, Amazon Web Services. Even if you are completely new to it, we will understand what are AWS services and what are the role of AWS services. My name is Sanjay Sharma and I'm cloud trainer and consultant with vast industry experience and expertise helping professionals and students get hands-on with AWS Cloud Computing. In today's sessions, we will talk about what AWS is, what are AWS services, and we will give a professional idea about AWS Core Services, whether you are preparing for AWS certification or just getting started with the cloud, this video is for you. So let's begin by answering the most important question. What is AWS? AWS is Amazon Web Services. AWS is the world's most comprehensive and widely adopted cloud platform, offering over 200 fully featured services from AWS data centers globally. AWS launched in 2006, and AWS allows organizations and individuals to run application and website store and manage data, host databases, build machine learning models. AWS provides on-demand access to IT resources like servers, databases, storages, and networking. And all are based on pay-as-you-go pricing model. Startups, large enterprises, government agencies and academic institutions widely adopted amazon web services companies from almost every industry use aws due to its flexibility scalability and global infrastructure some examples are netflix nasa coca-cola airbnb samsung and even startup and government organizations as per the recently industry report, AWS is ahead of Microsoft Azure and uh, Google Cloud. Why we use AWS? AWS is popular for a few reasons. Let's say, for example, scalability, cost effectiveness, security, flexibility, and the most important is AWS Global Reach. AWS Global Infrastructure. AWS is known for its rich and vast global infrastructure. AWS has over 36 launch regions and 114 plus availability zones, 700 plus edge locations, 43 local zones, 31 wavelength zones, and 135 direct connect across the globe as you know that aws we have services for every need and the total major services are more than 200. let's dive into the core services of aws these are grouped into some major categories for example compute storages databases networking, security and identity, monitoring, and logging. Let's talk about AWS services in detail. First of all, we need to cover compute services. In compute services, we are taking example of three services like EC2, Lambda, and LightSail. What is EC2? EC2 is a elastic compute cloud. If you need to create a virtual machine in AWS or web application server or any other kind of server, EC2 is the service in AWS. We can also manage load balancers and auto scaling using EC2. Virtual machines means you can create virtual machines using EC2. Lambda. The next service is Lambda. Lambda is a serverless service. If you want to run code in a serverless manner, you're going to use Lambda. You have to provide, you have to upload your code in Lambda and AWS will run it. 
for example, run backend function like sending emails on form submission. Next is LightSail. LightSail is a very simple service. You can use LightSails to create servers. It is a simplified virtual private servers with networking and storages, an easy way to launch servers. It's a great idea if you are new for EC2 and you want to launch servers, you can use LightSail. Storages. In storages, by the way, the storage is a very vast field. We have different kind of storages in AWS. But here in this slide, we are taking three services, S3, EBS, and Glacier. First of all, S3. S3 is a simple storage service. S3 is storage over the internet. It is available over the internet, just like a Google Drive or OneDrive. And it's an object storage, object storage service to store images, videos, backups. You can also host a website or static website without using any EC2 instances. S3 comes with a lot of features. You can go and create a cross-region replications. You can use almost with every service to store your data in S3. EBS. EBS is an elastic block storage. It's a persistent block storage for EC2 instance. EBS is just like a hard disk for your EC2 instance. It is a extend, extensible, or you can say it's extendable, and uh, multiple EBS volumes can be connected with an instance. Means if you want to create or manage hard disk for your EC2 instance, the service name is EBS. EBS is a storage service. And the next is Glacier, Amazon Glacier. Amazon Glacier is a long term archival storage. It's a very cheap. You can retrieve data when it is required. If you want to store data for a longer period of time, let's say one year, two year, five year, ten years, with a very less cost, in that case, you can use glaciers. Databases. Databases, of course, is a very wide field. We have various database services in AWS. In this slide, we are talking about RDS, DynamoDB, and Redshift. Let's say you want to create a database in your AWS. So you need a service. The service is RDS. There are different kind, kind of uh, uh, databases. Let's say SQL databases, no SQL databases. So RDS is a managed SQL database service. It is a structured database such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, MSSQL, IBM, and Aurora. Aurora is a product of AWS, which comes with numerous features. So you want to create a database server, you can use RDS. Aurora provides server-based uh, database service as well as it is also available in serverless. Second is DynamoDB. DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database with low latency and it's a serverless service. It's a great for gaming apps real-time analytics it is being very popular these days redshift the data warehouse solution for big data analytics it is used by companies for business intelligence and reporting purposes virtual private cloud vpc is an isolated network in aws you can create a private isolated network in AWS region. VPC comes with uh, numerous features such as VPC endpoint, peering connection, firewalls, transit gateway, interesting service, especially for architects and uh, network engineers. Means if you create any architecture in AWS, the first thing that, that you would create in AWS is VPC. VPC is providing an isolated network in AWS.
Route 53. Route 53 is, of course, is a serverless service. But what incredible thing is, Route 53 is a serverless DNS service in AWS. It means you have not to create any DNS EC2 instance, right? We have a separate service for DNS, Route 53. You can create and manage domains, hosted zones, and routing policies in Route 53. So, means if you want to configure your hosted zone you have multiple domains and you want to write resource records for your uh, uh, domain and you want to manage routing policies we have a service called route 53 and another is a cloud front cloud front is a cdn service cdn stand for content delivery network it is basically used to speed up a website access globally. And if you want to distribute content globally over the internet, let's say your clientele is in different countries or in different geolocations, and you want to distribute your content without any latency or with the least latency, you can use uh, cloud funds, current cloud fund service. Netflix is using the same service to distribute content. IAM, Identity and Access Management. Why we are using IAM? Let's say you have AWS account and you have multiple teams in your company and those multiple team users need an access on AWS account. And for them, you can create users, roles, and access permission for AWS. This is very, very important in terms of security as well. KMS, key management service. Key management service, generally we are using this service to create keys to encrypt and decrypt data. So you can create a both type of keys, symmetric keys and asymmetric keys. So KMS is used to encrypt your data using managed keys guard duty guard duty is a security service in aws and it is very very important so it is used to basically find out intelligent threat in your aws account or it's called that intelligent threat detection service sometimes a vital aws service for security it detects the suspicious activities in your aws account environment and which is very very important to find findings related to security in your aws account the next is monitoring and logging in monitoring and logging we are taking two services cloudwatch and cloudtrail cloudwatch is a monitoring service means you can monitor your resources you can collect logs and you can also apply metrics we have a different type of matrix. Some matrix are the managed matrix, which are already available. But if you want to create your own matrix, you can also create your own matrix to uh, measure uh, the performance of your services and application in AWS. You can also set up alarms for various use cases. For example, set up an alarm if the CPU utilization goes beyond a certain limit let's say 80 percent so you can set up alarm and you're going to see whether that resource is using the compute resources uh, for that specific amount right cloud trail cloud cloud trail is an incredible service let's say in cloud trail you can see last 90 days event history i'm talking about the event history what is the event history? For example, if somebody is logging in, logging into your AWS account or somebody is creating machine, somebody is ter terminating your machines or he is making some changes in AWS account. So such kind of logs are stored in cloud trail. You can record all API calls and activities in your AWS account. It is useful for security audits and uh, track changes next we have the certification uh, we have uh, we are focusing here the two type of the certification one is associate level of certification which is very very 
important if you want to start your journey in AWS, AWS Solution Architect Associate level of certification. Second, we have a certain certification and these certification are the specialty certification. These are next level of certification. If you need a proficiency and expertise, uh, let's say in uh, networking, you are from networking background, you know about firewalls, you know about uh, uh, security systems, you know about, uh, let's say, networking, then you can go and choose AWS Advanced Networking Speciality. The second is Security Speciality. The Security Speciality certification is for if you want to make your career in AWS security, you are you already have a very good concept in security. You can go for next level of security specialty certification. Next is why training is your superpower. Right. You join Network Kings for a better future. There are a number of uh, unique advantages such as we will provide uh, live sessions we will provide the real-time aws labs and examples certification focus training means the training not only for the certification our main purpose is to provide the training so that you can make your space in it industry we will also help you resume building and uh, career guidance and one to one mentorship also available in our this training program and the most advantageous is the trainer are from uh, industry they are industry experts with the great experiences means uh, you, they are ready to share their experiences during the training time as you know that the world is moving to cloud technology so don't miss this chance join now and start building your future in the world of cloud computing thanks everyone